and welcome back to my channel. It's Carol here and I'm back with another what I eat in a day video. This morning I went for a long walk on the beach. I walked about four miles and it was very nice. Went out with some friends last night. This morning I had the house to myself. My boys spent the night on the other side of the island with some friends. And so just being alone, walking on the beach, listening to music, brings up a lot of emotions for me. I'm trying to feel my emotions and uh, fully feel them, honor them, and then let them pass so that they don't completely take over my life. And I'm a work in progress for sure, but it just felt really good to walk. Walking is like the best meditation for me right now, I find. It's very healing, especially walking on the beach or, or anywhere outside is very healing. Being in nature is very calming to me and soothing and it was just a really nice time to spend alone with my thoughts. So that was very nice and then I came back and was pretty hungry by that point. It was about one o'clock. I had one of these steamed gold potatoes and while I was making my hummus, my delicious oil-free hummus, I will link that video that I make that in below. It's the best if you haven't tried it. It tasted absolutely amazing to me because I have been not eating beans for the last week. I've been doing the potato reset and it really tasted good to me. I hadn't had it in a while. And so I ate almost the whole can of beans, which is totally fine. So I'm feeling full now, drink lots of water. But I thought, hmm, I want to make something very veggie full for dinner uh, and just to have for the next day or two. So I'm going to make my scrap soup. Sounds delicious, doesn't it? I save all of my like kale stems and all the greens from the tops of the celery and things like that. And I save them all in the bag in the freezer. I have more celery tops here from today. I save them all and put them in a soup whenever I get an accumulation of them. And I think it tastes delicious and it's a nice way to get more greens in your diet and just more veggies in general. I have a couple of carrots I'm gonna put in there to sweeten it up. I have some gold potatoes, of course, an onion, and I'm gonna use these greens. I have some garlic and some better than bouillon. I'm just gonna use that to flavor it. I blend it up so it's like a puree and it tastes delicious with the potatoes in it. it, makes it really creamy, and it's just full of antioxidants and vitamins and nutrients and fiber. I'm really looking forward to it. I haven't made a soup in a long time, so that's gonna be good. Last night, I went out with some friends and I had vegan pizza, and I had some pizza and some focaccia bread to start with, and that was really good. I hadn't had that in a long time, but I woke up feeling like congested, like my sinuses are congested, and I'm wondering if it's the gluten. I've been avoiding gluten since Thanksgiving. I overdosed on gluten on Thanksgiving and felt awful for like three days after. I wonder if I have a sensitivity to gluten. That would be a shame. But anyway, I'm gonna stay away from it again and see if it, if it goes away. Hopefully I'm not coming down with something. I do have a friend that's just getting over being sick. So we'll see, but I'm going to make this soup and this will probably be very healing for me as well. So I will show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, well, I've been busy. I made a, I prepped a salad with some peppers and green onions on top. That's all I have um, salad wise. Uh, there's two heads of romaine, the last of my greens in there. I also have some cherry tomatoes that I'll put on when I'm ready to eat it. I made a zucchini lasagna. You can see the slices of zucchini with a, uh, I put a can of diced tomatoes with the juice on top and my tofu ricotta. I still have three squashes left to eat. So that's enough for like a meal. I just sliced the zucchini really thin with this mandolin I bought. It was like $10 on Amazon. I have a link in my description. And also my, my uh, cut proof glove I use always when I use this because this blade is sharp. This thing comes with like 10 different blades. One of them makes waffle fries too, which when I get my new air fryer, I'm super excited about to make waffle fries, yay. And you can um, slice potatoes really thin like this and put them in the air fryer or the oven, make potato chips but I just love it to make zucchini ribbons or whatever. I had a spiralizer, but it's such a pain to use and 
I, re I really prefer them like this anyway. They don't take up as much curly volume and you, they're hard to eat. This The spiraled zucchini, have you noticed? They're like crazy long and anyway, I just like to do it this way. It's a good way to get a lot of zucchini into a into your belly. Yeah, these are linked in my description for the mandolin and the cut proof glove. Also, all everything I use, my knife, my cutting board. These are like my two favorite things in the world, my knife and my cutting board. I'm very happy when I'm here doing this. I also made my scrap soup. Mm -mm. You guys have to try this. If you eat a lot of kale or if you I cut up celery and eat it with hummus every week and the you know, I don't throw them away. The tops of the celery and the insides and the greens. I just put a couple of carrots in here. It really sweetened it up. And then I put maybe about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, some crushed garlic and some better than bouillon. I just hit it with a little bit of apple cider vinegar at the end and a tablespoon of miso. It really makes everything taste better. And this I'm going to enjoy for dinner. I also have some the rest of my green beans that I want to roast up. So when I put this thing in the oven, I'm going to put the green beans in there too, and maybe the zucchini as well. So I'll just have everything cooked and ready, and that will last me probably, sadly, this will probably last me like three days. And I'll need to go shopping again and start all over because I am out of veggies. I'm gonna make another batch of hummus since I ate the entire batch today and have it with my remaining pepper. And I have some carrots and celery that are cut up because that is my all time favorite snack right now. I'll catch up with you guys when it's time to eat. I'm not hungry. I ate all that hummus and veggies and it was so good. And so it's 3.30 and I'm not really hungry yet. So I'll let you know when I do eat. guys it is the next day and right after I made that soup before I even put it away I had a big bowl of that and that was so filling that it kept me full until about seven o'clock at night when I had already cooked my zucchini lasagna so I had two big squares of that that was really good I forgot to film all of it I don't know what I was thinking I have half of each of those left in my fridge for tonight. The car I bought for my kids needs a new transmission. Mm -hmm. The transmission is slipping, so we know it needs a new one. And we live on an island, so it's really hard to find a transmission. So I've been calling around all day today, all weekend. So I have a couple of leads on some that will ship from the mainland. Shipping from the mainland is extremely expensive for a 350 pound transmission. So we'll see how that goes. but. Anyway, it's all good. I spent hours doing that this morning and then I took a break and went for a hike and I went hiking up to my favorite windmills. I like it because it's close to my house and I went maybe three miles, but it's literally straight up the mountain and then straight down. And that was really great. You know, I was thinking when I was hiking that when you first start out hiking, you're kind of like, oh, okay, I, I only have, you know, an hour, We let's go, let's get this going, and like, you're just focused on, you know, pumping it up the hill and whatever. And then if you're listening to something positive, some music or a podcast or something, by the time you're, you're ha halfway done with your hike, it really changes your total perspective. It changes your mood, it does for me, it changes my outlook on life. Like, I feel like, you know, I can handle the stress and the anxiety and the, you know, all the things that come your way throughout the day so much better if I get out there and especially outside I'm finding that it's just really good for me so that was great after that and then we had a little bit of a stressful experience after that I took my kids um, shopping we went to Costco and bought a ton of stuff at Costco but there was a little there were some people in the parking lot I don't know it's the holiday season people but people were are just uh, you know in a rage kind of I don't know but we had a little altercation in the parking lot and it's fine. I'm just like, you know, whatever, it doesn't phase me. It's, I'm not gonna let it bother me. I'm not gonna stoop to anyone's level or get down there and start, you know, throwing, throwing stones at people just because they're in a bad mood or whatever. You just, I just let it roll off my back so much easier when I have gotten to recharge myself by getting outside or getting some movement in my body. It helps a lot. 
and also eating healthy. I'm just so thankful that I'm able to eat healthy and move my body and do the things that, that fill my cup so that I have something to give and something left when all of these stressful situations come my way, which they seem to be just kind of, it's a daily thing, you know? You just have to expect it. And I was telling my son, we were shopping at Costco. You no, know, my son is very tough. And I said, nothing scares me anymore. How about you? And he's like, yeah, no, I can't think of anything that scares me. And I was like, literally just bring it on. As long as we have each other, we can get through anything. So I feel that way. And anyway, I hope you guys are feeling that way on this Monday. Yeah, so I went for a long hike and I was not hungry this morning. I ate a lot last night. That soup was very filling. I think it's really high in fiber. And I have been just drinking lots of water. I bought the three pack of cucumbers, English cucumbers at Costco, and I ate one and a half of them already on the way home. I ate almost a whole one, and then I ate the rest. And if you want, I'll show you what I got at Costco. So what's here? I would show you what I got at Costco, but I literally just put everything away. So ha, huh, I should have done that beforehand, but I can tell you, Mm, I got these yummy Campari tomatoes. These are so good. I got two bunches of organic bananas. I got another score. I got this veggie tray. It has broccoli, carrots, celery, snap peas, peppers, and it has a ranch dressing, which I'll probably just, maybe I'll bring it to a party and leave it, but I made some more hummus but this was only $6 for all these veggies and they're already cut up and I was hungry when I bought it. So I was like, ooh, I've gotta have that. I always see these and I'm like, oh, that looks so delicious to have them all cut and prepared for you. But they're usually like 12 or $13, but it was $6 and they're all fresh looking. So I got that. I got some spring mix. I got some a bag of baby spinach to stick in the kids' smoothies. Got some local Hawaiian zucchini. Another bag of peppers, I'm addicted to these. And mushrooms, they, mushrooms have been like $10 lately, but these were six or seven, so not too, not too bad. I'm excited to make another batch of that veggie ground. I just need cauliflower. They did not have cauliflower at Costco today. I'm disappointed about that. I thought I would just do a two days in one today since I didn't really film my dinner last night, but it's gonna be the same thing tonight. So I will show you what that looks like when I'm ready to eat again. Okay, it's seven o'clock and I am going to have some of my zucchini lasagna. This is so delicious and I'm so glad I have it because I don't feel like cooking at all right now, but I'm gonna have at least a couple plates of this zucchini lasagna with onions, zucchini, some tofu ricotta, and a can of diced tomatoes with the juice. And this is amazing. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys are having a great night. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you like these kind of videos, what I eat in a day, whole food, plant-based. I didn't eat a lot today, but I feel full and satisfied. I think having the tofu, having the beans in my hummus really helps just keep me full and I don't need to eat as much, which I really enjoy. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you tomorrow.